So, two and a half hours of driving in 50 mile an hour speed restricted zones where people were driving 40. I finally arrived in Birmingham with my mass of crap. I'm here for five days to film with Gymshark. Whole cool project thing coming on. Check it out. How long are you here for, Lex? Five days. How many bags you got? One, two, three, four, a five, six. I, I don't know. So I'm here for five days and it is a working five days. This isn't like an expo or fun stuff going on. It's literally, we're getting down to the grind. This is an eight o'clock call time till five o'clock in the afternoon. But that doesn't mean we can't have a little bit of fun with a few new faces while we're here. And I mean new, new faces. You've not seen this guy on the channel before. I haven't been on his channel before. In fact, this will be the first time we've actually met properly in a professional sense. We've met at expos, doesn't count. This is us one-on-one -on -one doing some cool shit together. So let's go see who I'm talking about. I've been, I've been doing this a long time. I mean, over half my life here. Especially when you put this much time into something that you love, something you have a passion for. That's just, that's motivation. Oh, it's not Clark Kent, it's Brandon. What's going on guys? This here, we're Lex, in five guys, having the last cheat meal of my competition. And I thought, what better guy to experience my last cheat meal with than this guy right here. So we're in five guys, getting a, a burger. Serious mandate. My a serious first, mandate. My first time in five guys. And I trusted Brandon with the choice. So we've got a double bacon cheeseburger with like, all of the toppings. All the toppings. All the toppings. And uh, a grilled cheese with all of the toppings. What, like a like cheese on toast grilled cheese? Yeah, kind of, yeah. I do like a bit of cheese grommet. <laughs> hey, where's my fries? No fries. Oh, did, you think they put both the grilled cheese in mine? Wait, so I've got, I've got my burger. <laughs> and I've got my grilled cheese. We didn't order them. Let me handle it. Yeah, we didn't know. I'll get you some fries. I'll handle it. Okay. I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> the sign of a good mandate companion is when they don't leave you hungry. So, fellas, if you're on a mandate right now and your boy isn't hooking you up when you're missing the fries, dump that man. Fries and romantic tunes now playing. The romantic awesome. tunes just started as we sat down. Right, guys, we are in. We're there. <laughs> okay, Lex, if you didn't know, it's from Manchester. I'm gonna take my glasses off. He's from Manchester and he's down here for five days. Oh, do they see you better than they see me? Damn. And I just bought them. How disappointing. <laughs> I thought, what better guy to experience my last five guys cheat meal with? Oh, it's like I'm dressing a beautiful woman. That's the worst comparison I've ever come up with. Every other image but a beautiful woman comes to mind when you're talking about a double patty burger. Oh. Yeah, totally. Oh. Oh. Insert porn music now. So that was a double wappy happy chappy burger. This is the grilled cheese. Is that meant to be right? My bun's upside down. No, it's meant to be. Oh. Here we go. First five guys ever. I've been to In and Out, McDonald's, Burger King. Wow! How is it? How is it? Dude, that's good. Yeah? Oh man! Oh, oh man! Oh, I squirted! <laughs> Dude, come in the frame. Yeah, get, hey, get in your frame. Yeah, there right, we go. Right, there right, you right. go. <laughs> oh god, I'm losing it. Three, two, one. <laughs> I made a mess. I made a mess. <laughs> what I've got once and all of my mouth. What have you done? <laughs> we just turned two guys getting a burger together. What I'd like to point out is, way. like I'd like to point out is before, literally the first time we've sat side by side, we've never, we don't hang out, we've never hung out before. Yeah. But this is what happens when you meet like-minded people doing like-minded things. And it's just, it's this instant. is what happens. When people are meant to know each other, the universe, the, the universe provides. Five guys was provided Five for us guys. to meet. This is it. Mm. Oh, I'm out. It's 11 o'clock. I think they're telling us we need to leave. <laughs> yes, yeah. we've overstayed our welcome. <laughs> 
So it's been a, a day of sin. I've double burgered. I've grilled cheese. With burger send, we've sinned because we did unholy things together on our first date. <laughs> and now we're sinning again. Now we're going to pay our penance. Yeah, this is this, this the, sanctuary of torture. Yeah, we're, we're at Pure Gym. <laughs> There's no way to like, <laughs> That's the way you said yeah, it. We're at Pure Gym, but it's quarter past 11 at night and we need to work out. We need to utilize the unnecessary fats and carbs we just consumed. Prepare for burger pump in three, two, two one. one. I've been making waves like the ocean. So pressing tips. Pressing tips. That much more like, I guess, no, start again actually. So my tip for this is to really, not a top tip, but just to, to really accentuate the stretch. I guess, I guess that's, that's what I'd say. I don't know. Sponsored by Monster, I wish. <laughs> I'm better at vlogging, man. See like, all right, so top tips for pressing. Personally, I prefer to use dumbbells over bench press because with the bench press, it stops you getting that full range of motion. So what I like to, not a top tip, but what I like to utilize is the ability to get that full range of motion on dumbbells. So make sure you are getting a full stretch. Make sure you are getting the most out of the exercise just to uh, optimize gains, optimize progress. We're bro science and the shit out of this, but uh, yeah. So warmed up, random warmed up on the bench press, got that going. You'll notice I didn't use the bench press and that is because I've got a trap nerve in this elbow. It's not chipped, which is a bonus. I thought the elbow was chipped, so happy days was just a trap nerve. But it does stop me doing some things like bench and bar work. Don't know why, it's just the motion of the ocean. So I'm on the dumbbells, utilizing certain grip points, angles, adjusting that head to find a point where my body likes moving through the movement, still allows me to work the muscle, but isn't aggravating that injury. So if you're hurt, don't push through it, work around it, but you don't need to stop completely. <laughs> um, Come on, Lex, where's your top tips? Sorry. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so, uh, right, so, flashback, flash into top tips. Um, you saw us doing some of that guillotine incline press. Now, I found on that, one, we're bringing it to the throat, so doing it on the Smith machine is very, very safe compared to doing it with a free bar, because if you're going to fail, you can rack that thing immediately, you're not risking anything. So, if you feel like everyone wants to do that kind of guillotine press style thing, have a go on the Smith machine like we did. Double benefit of being safe, you can rack it easily. But two, I got zero elbow pain on that, which lets me know that maybe it's stabilization that's causing this to twinge. So if you are finding you've got joint pains and things, go and use something that is stabilized, like a Smith machine, and that might be able to help you work around it. Now we're hitting the shoulder press again to stabilize. So our top tip for this is try and use machines that use independent arms for each side. That way, if you've got a leading edge, this isn't going to allow that leading side to take over. It helps you with balance, and it helps you maintain that symmetry from side to side. Building asymmetric. Beautifully symmetry, physique. symmetry over mass any day of the week, which is why Brandon looks like a sex machine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Give it. Eight. Easy, come on. Four. Nine. Two, motherfucker, come on. One, Let's two, go. no pain, no pain. Easy. Up. Up. And again. And we got one. And again. Fuck you, reps. Fuck you, reps. One, two. Fuck. You. Yep. Oh. Midnight training. Sugar free even though the flat white? Yes, thank you. 
So welcome to today's adventures and this is the setting for the scene. Cool little note, this used to be the original warehouse that Gymshark used to store all the clothes from before they moved to all the new premises. Other new note, Noel's head is still that size. Massive, I, I think it's getting bigger. <laughs> Lately I've been doing shit different Cooking like a chef, I've been all up in the kitchen Had to make a move, had to make a little distance A lot of people tripping, they could never see the vision Fuck that! Whoa, well that was a long start to the first day This is going to be a grinder of a week from multiple angles Multiple times, but it'll be worth it in the end I'm very tired and now feeling very sick Because on the way home, the Uber driver decided to drive like this for an entire 40 minutes. And I get motion sickness at the best of times. So I'm in the back, like going I had to close my eyes, lie down, and we've been here 50 minutes and I still feel sick. Also, how do you make a car smell equal parts like old shoe and takeaway? Roll on tomorrow. Tell them bounce if they never seen an ounce of the rod. You need one, hit me up, I know who to call. Shorty ass fat, yeah she doing lunges